We now know the name of the man who died last week in the West Valley shooting spree. Our Kim Powell has been learning more about this victim who was found inside his car. She joins us live with more on his story. Kim. Yeah, a neighbor tells me that David Liebler has lived in Sun City for the last several years, and he was really involved in his community. They say that he was funny and fun to be around, and one neighbor says that he can't believe that this is how he died. Thursday was a day the West Valley won't soon forget. Just after 11 a.m., a woman called police saying someone shot at her and her three-year-old daughter while they were driving, and that was just the start of an hour-long shooting spree. The second call came in almost 20 minutes later at the 101 and Thunderbird. Eventually, police found a red pickup truck in the canal. They said 67-year-old David Liebler was shot in the neck and died. His neighbors and family are still shooken up that someone would just open fire on the highway. The next call came in 10 minutes later, and soon the calls started getting closer and closer together. They were all reporting that someone in a white SUV was shooting at them while driving. Of the 13 victims, four of them were shot, and nine others were hit with shrapnel. Eventually, police caught up with 19-year-old Ashen Trica Rico in a shopping center parking lot in Surprise. This cell phone video was taken by a pastor who heard the commotion of law enforcement surrounding Trica Rico. He was arrested, and police say he admitted to some of the shootings, claiming that he felt like he was being followed. Peoria police also believe Trica Rico is connected to two other recent crimes on June 10th and June 16th. And Trica Rico is facing several charges, including endangerment, aggravated assault, and first-degree murder. Of course, that's for Liebler's death, and uh, we do believe that uh, they will be uh, charging him with, with all of those crimes, with those uh, other injuries as well. That includes the aggravated assault and endangerment charges. For now, reporting live, I'm Kim Powell for Arizona's Family.